Scentland, the land of scent. There's not only me in the room, in the cafe. And the special venue, special location requires or calls for a special fragrance, which today comes from the house of Montana. I've reviewed Montana last year, um, Montana Parfum Dome last year in New York. And today it's the Black Edition. Montana Black Edition, Eau de Toilette Pour Homme, released in they have the wonderful Tower of Babel, they say. Uh, in me, it reminds me really uh, of a skyscraper in New York. Let's make sure it doesn't fall down. Um, amazingly, you know, the original Parfum Dom from Montana was released in 1989, if I'm not mistaken. This one came out uh, seven years ago, in 2011. Yet. It is a tremendously nice, classy 80s type of fragrance with lavender, some orange, uh, tarragon, jasmine, rose, pine, leather. Um, it reminds me a lot of the uh, Havana family, you know, Havana and Havana Reserva, but it also reminds me, especially in regards to the, 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 the ingredients, the notes, it reminds me a lot of. Iquitos from Alain Delon, from the year of 87. Now, as you can see, I'm re referring to the 80s. It's very much an 80s fragrance, released in 2011, which is a tremendously brave effort from the house of Montana. I really um, love the house for this. And uh, I managed to find it here in a small um, vintage perfume shop. And this is 125 milliliter. It's an order toilet, right? As it says. Uh, yet again, it's a good example that if the designer wants to create a well-performing eau de toilette, it's totally possible. This performs, I know this fragrance from before, I tried it, I used it before, it performs the entire day, right? So again, this eau de parfum, extra de parfum nonsense versus uh, eau de toilette doesn't, doesn't add up because the eau de toilettes many times actually outperform nowadays hyper overhyped uh, eau de parfums so what does it remind me of it reminds me of this of this easy going kind of smoky laid back um, you know casual atmosphere where you know everything is still genuine you know nothing is like um, overly marketed or, or, or you know nothing is washed clean um, this is a fragrance that is it's reminding me of the good old days of perfumery and um, that that also comes forward if you look at just the ingredients themselves but if you smell this uh, it's very dense it's very exotic smelling notice the jacket so if you, if you ask me how this fragrance smells it smells like this jacket right uh, all over the place yet it has a it has a unity it's one composition and um, age-wise I mean it's gonna be loved by most people who love the great great fragrances of of the of the 80s of that decade um, it's definitely dense it's, it's strong it's leathery piney rosy flowery Maybe a little powder, a little bit powdery as well. Uh, but to me, it's just a perfect fragrance, especially for the spring and autumn time, and maybe winter time as well. So um, uh, you know, it's it's hard to find. I think it's still in production. It says actually, it's made in Italy. Um, yet yeah, the uh, it's being it's being made by or at least branded by Empire Sense, as I can read here from the box, and uh, that has an address in Paris. So it's, it's a bit um, 
kind of blurry where this fragrance is actually coming from, but I don't mind because it's a bloody, bloody good fragrance. And uh, I totally enjoy it in the right, right atmosphere with the right people. Uh, this fragrance is just a home run. So, nothing else left to say than uh, enjoy your day, guys. I'm gonna do that with a little bit of an Obstar. Obstler, Entschuldigung, Obstler, ja, wir trinken einen Obstler zusammen mit dem Hans. Kannst du mal den Hans zeigen? Der Hans ist Falco, uh, the great, late Austrian pop artist of the 80s and 90s. So, this is to Hans Hölzel in his hometown and Montana Black Edition. Take care and uh, see you soon again for another review. Ja, der österreichische Obstler, das ist was Schönes.